welcome to softy demi again today i come up with my new content and today we will discuss about duration types i already tell you about many times duration types but there is not a complete content on this one so today i think to share with you the brief description of duration type and the logics of duration types so here we open primavera p6 i make a project with name of duration type and add an activity and here i add duration type column in this column you can see fixed duration and units here in status you can also see in general you can also see duration type fixed duration and units so i will add four type of duration activities here by insert button i added here four activities which have different durations durations first one is fixed duration and units second one is fixed duration and units per time and third one is fixed units and the fourth one is fixed unit units per time so what is per time per time means duration where you see in the duration type per time means duration and duration you can see here user preferences you can go here and you can see here your duration is duration format is in days not in hours so when you compare with someone your units you will compare with days not with hours so when you set when you set your duration so you set your duration in here your duration is in days i will show you i will go here and user preferences i will show label of hours here here you can see four days here you can see four days four days four days here in general you can see here duration type is fixed units part time in the activity here so i will name the activities first i will discuss about fixed duration and units by assigning a resource in an activity i will go for my excel sheet here you can see fixed duration and units here this one fixed duration and units here the results this one and this one is fixed this green one and this green one is finished i change the color duration and units duration in days and units are fixed so units are in hours when you talk about non labor units they are in hours if there is a unit in labor then it will be hour if there is non labor then it will be also in hour and if there is material material have many different units if this is a material resource then it will be in cubic meter square meter kgs in it will be in any weight volume in any unit material can be happen and can be measured so here you can see when i change the duration you can see its units per time working capacity is decreased so in this case first case when you apply fixed duration and units your unit per time budgeted unit per time will be vary when you change here it may be increase it may be decrease whatever you do it will be applied so let apply this one you can see results no change in duration resource must change so resource only change duration can't be changed and budgeted units can't be changed only budgeted units per time will be vary i will go for primavera p6 i will show you add a resource i will add a resource an excavator it's non labor and it's in hours you can see budgeted units per time is 10 hour it's can it can be vary and the fixed one is budgeted units and original duration i will i will just make this one as in you can see one to three columns i will remove other all columns up to 
So this is excavator is a resource, budgeted units, you can see here, budgeted units, and then budgeted units per time, and then original duration. So what I tell you, I tell you about that duration and budgeted units are fixed, and budgeted unit per time will be vary. When we come here, when I change the duration, original duration, you can see when I change the duration, budgeted units per time is automatically changed. When I go to 6 and I go to 7, automatically it's go to 6 hour or when I change the budgeted units, when I go for 80, it will be automatically changed. So you can see here, when I change the durations, so it automatically changes, it automatically change its duration. And when I change the duration, it change automatically its units. So in this case, both these are fixed. I will go for second case, duration and units per time. So in duration, fixed duration and units per time, you can all you know you understand. In this case also duration and units per time will be fixed. But in this case, units are not fixed. So sometimes you have resources and you have some time, but your final budgeted units are not fixed. You have to calculate your budgeted units, but you have resources, you have excavators, you have duration, but you don't have finalized your units. In this case, you will put your duration, I will go for activity B, where our fixed duration and units per time. Here I add, will add a resource of excavator. In this resource, when I change my duration, you can see here budgeted units will be changed. When I go there and when I put 7, it will be go to 70. So when I change uh, original duration, when I change original duration, then it this one budgeted units per time is remain same because it's also fixed. When I say that my budgeted units per time in a day is 100 cubic meter per day, its consumption, its uh, when I my over productivity is 100 cubic meter and I need one excavator and it work 10 hours. So I need if two excavator 20, uh, 20 hour I want to work for my next vector, then our total budget hour will be 140 hours. So if I have one excavator, I will use one excavator, I will go for there and 10 hours per day and the budget units will be 70. And if I change my duration into five, it will remain 50 hours, my final budget units for cost will be. So, from this type of duration, we can calculate our final budgeted units. I will move for, I will show you something more. If I add another same excavator resource, I can make a two resources and make full calculation 25 and 25 into 50. And I, if I change the duration, duration will be remain same, four and four. There you can see if four. If one is five and other is four, then the answer of duration is here is will be uh, here will be the bigger unit will be here. So you can see the bigger unit will be appear here five and the four will not remain appear here. But it will be depend on your original duration is fixed and your units per time is fixed and you can calculate your budget units total. So I will move for my next one is fixed units. So when you know your units are fixed and at that at that point when you know your project have a fixed units, for example, you have one million or two million man hours to work. So you know how many units per time you can consume and how many manpower you can apply on daily basis. So you use this type of duration, I will add a resource here in fixed duration. Here I add a resource of excavator here. So in this resource, 
budgeted units are fixed when i change my budgeted units then my duration can be changed and my units per time can be changed here so when i change my so definitely our duration will be changed let me show you so here my total budgeted units are 200 and you can see it will take 20 hours so what i do i can change my total budgeted units per time per day will be if 40 then it will be reduced to five days and if there is remain 10 hours per day so when i say it's i use four excavators add an excavator so i distribute this one into four so here you can see it's five 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 so if i delete all these one and i say that i use 50 man hours 50 machine mechanical hours then it will be take four day dur original duration you can also see here when i put 1000 here and and i put here 100 so you can see here original duration will be 10 duration can be changed here so in the last two i can also show you in what i calculate in excel so in this one i will delete this one an excavator and in this one example i have to change just units per time and duration it's 100 and in this case it's seven days duration so total will be 700 and in a activity it will be we have to change budget units and original duration it when we fix here into 500 and the other one into five then we can see answer will be 100 hours per day so the last one we have to see in fixed units per time when you have a fixed units per time and you don't know about your duration or your budget units then you put this type of duration i add here excavator and i will put units per time i have 10 excavators a day i will work 10 100 hours a day 100 hours a day so in this case if i want to work 100 hours a day and if i know my duration for five days i can calculate my budgeted units so if i know my uh, budgeted units will be thousand so i can calculate my original duration from there so in this in this case budgeted units will be units budgeted units per time is constant in this case of fixed units budgeted units are constant and in this case uh, of fixed duration and units per time fixed uh, duration and budgeted units per time is constant and in this case fixed duration and units in this case duration and units budgeted units are constant and the remaining is variable i show you by examples this is my and brief this is my brief content on duration type i show you by assigning a resource so you can assign more than one more than two more than three or more than five resource here i show you an example so you can see here in an example i will go show you in a fair fixed duration i will add a tipper i will add a loader so in here you can assign your units are fixed so if you assign it here fixed units here 500 and you write their productivity if you have loader work in 100 hours per day tipper work for uh, 50 hour day so you can see 10 hours so if it's work in 80 hours per day so 13 the higher will be right here so the maximum 
original duration will be right here. So you can assign more than one, more than two, more than three resources here. One thing it is very important, don't put cost resource here. If you put your cost resource here, then you should must assign fixed duration per units and then you should schedule it. And if you assign materials, then you should use fixed duration and units. So this is my end of the content of duration type. So this is my content about duration type. If you like my videos, please press like button and subscribe my channel. If you don't subscribe till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get my latest upcoming videos notification and go for all and see you in my next upcoming contents.